Welcome back to Futile Facts Unscripted, Part 2. So, just like last time, we'll start off talking about the process here. So once again, every time I start drawing a little caricature, I do a little gray outline first. This here was the cook. As you can see, the original face I had was, was pretty scary looking, so I, I changed it. I just kept it there as a joke for a little bit. But I knew I wanted to draw the cook physician urine taster trio and then i went back and decided i'll also draw a sort of huckster the, the guy who goes down the road trying to sell off the food that he didn't like so here the cook uh, just like last time all these images are based off of artwork that i'd seen some that was in like medieval manuscripts and others that was later work i believe in the renaissance or baroque period but for the cook, I gave him this, this style of hat that I saw in one particular drawing. These kind of froofy sleeves to make him look a, like a successful businessman. His hair is straight down, his mouth I kind of changed to sort of a hello side kind of uh, expression. Then he's got a little apron around his waist since he cooks. And the item that he's holding is most likely a meat pie. And if anyone were to try to draw in the same style as me, again, after I do the gray outline, I usually do a sort of draft over that to get an idea of what I'm going to draw. And then I get the black stroke and actually draw out the mostly final image, making some tweaks here and there. And then I go back to a new layer with a light blue color to kind of give it that comic booky uh, paper vibe and do that for for shadows so that was the cook now here we are on to the physician so in some of the images i saw there were physicians who had these very neat uh, kind of fancy cloaks over simple robes and almost this sort of beanie looking hat so here's the cloak here some of them had hoods which i tried to copy but it didn't quite work out uh, just, again, simple line patterns and stuff on the beanie to make it look a little fancier. I wasn't sure if I was going to make the physician look like an old man, or if I wanted something that was a little more open-ended. So I gave him these bushy eyebrows, was going to do a beard, but ultimately decided to not really, not really worry about that. So they still have, they, they might look a little older with the eyebrows and kind of the hair that's a little, how would you say, fuller? It's poofier for sure than the, than the previous image with the cook. But yeah, they're, they're sitting there thinking, pondering how to best help their lord avoid the dreaded honey disease. Let's see, some finishing touches that I was a little too high, so I moved it down so it doesn't look weird and after some last touch-ups we'll be moving on to the last one the urine taster so I guess I should mention in a moment here uh, some some plans and things I've been thinking about for the channel but first here the the image for the urine taster if you saw in the artwork just briefly in the original video Go back and watch it, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Uh, there's a gentleman kind of sitting back while a physician studies a, a vial of urine. He's kind of got this head wrap and a cane in his hand, kind of these modest robes, and I believe like this sort of shawl thing. He doesn't look as high in society. I imagine someone who gets paid to taste someone's urine isn't going to be paid super well. So I kind of tried to emulate that, almost like sort of beggar vibes, but a a comfortable, comfortable beggar. Kind of got some whiskers there, five o'clock shadow, and perhaps he's he's got some sort of disability, like he's got the cane walking, maybe he's he's a little lame or something like that. But yeah, I, I think it turned out pretty good. It was probably my favorite of the three to design. 
For some reason it reminded me of the lepers in Princess Mononoke, if anyone has seen that. One of my favorite Ghibli films. Uh, let's see, going back, touching up a few things before we move on to the last drawing which is the huckster. So the huckster, again, is the person who's walking around trying to sell off the food that they bought and didn't really like. So the image that I went off of had kind of this simple clothing. He had this hood on over these, this pink tunic and silly tights, something that was pretty common back in the day. Pink was actually a very common color for men to wear, funnily enough, but... I wasn't really loving, after going through this the first time, kind of the look. The hood looked a little too tight. Uh, I tried to open it up more, but then it, it just looked like hair. So in the end, and this is pretty typical when I'm doing my drawings, I just decided to scrap it, start from scratch. There's a few times where it probably takes me two or three attempts to finally get something that I like. But I kept the hat, kept the face, and just kind of simple, simplified it. So he still has the, the hood, it's probably just tucked back this time. I made the little sash belt bigger, more noticeable, and gave him some hair. A little beard, he kind of looks like Shaggy here. His original face kind of looked like a cartoon ghost, so I moved that over to make it look more like he's shouting instead of trying to boo someone. And I think it turned out pretty well in the end. As for the channel update I was talking about previously, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, my content in general, and I know there's a healthy amount of the people that watch my history mythology videos who, much like me, are, are pretty big D&D nerds, and I've been missing playing D&D, I, I haven't really done so very much recently, I used to more in the past, but I do have a few world building projects that I've been working on, and I've been thinking if anyone would be interested in me sharing those types of things. I know there's lots of channels on YouTube that have their own world building projects and people just enjoy learning and watching them develop. So I don't want to branch off too much from my main audience, but if you guys would be interested in some videos covering content like that, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like the video, that helps me a lot with the algorithm. And subscribe for more Feudal Facts. I'll see you all in the next one.